Welcome to DVCom Technology. Today I am going to show it to you how to configure Aster S20 IP PBX. Let's go and understand the lab topology before we start the configuration. In my entire lab topology, I am going to use 192.168.10.0 as the network, which is slash 24. And I am going to configure 192.168.10.5 is the IP address for my IP PBX. And I am going to terminate one PST online. And I already configured 192.168.10.1 as a gateway in my Dratec router. And I have a POA switch which is configured with 192.168.10.2. And for my internal extensions, I am going to use 101, 102 and 103. So this is my lab topology. Now I'm going to show it to you what are the tasks I'm going to do in this lab step by step. So let's go and have a look what are the tasks I'm going to do it. So the first task is access the S20 IP PBX with the default IP username and password. So by default the Aster IP PBX it has the IP address as 192.168.5.1 and the default username is admin and default password is password. So these are the case sensitive and it is in small letters. So now I'm going to show it to you how to access my IP PBX. But before I'm going to access my PBX, let's keep my PC into the same network so that I can able to have a access. So now what I'm going to do now, let's go and assign the IP address to my NIC card. Open the run, type ncpa.cpl, right click on your LAN card, then go to the properties and select TCP IP version 4, then click on properties and specify the IP address as 192.168.5.10. Then after that, click OK, then click close. Now my PC and my PBX are in the same network and let's go and connect it to my PBX. So now I have connected. For verification, what I'm going to do, open the command prompt and ping to your PBX, which is 192.168.5.150. So now I have a successful reachability. Now open the browser, type the IP addresses 192.168.5.150 then enter the default username is admin and password is password. Then click login. At the first time whenever you log in, you can able to see data processing agreement. Just go down and simply I have read and agree to above the agreement. Then click confirm. In case if you are not familiar with Astro IP PBX, you can use this result, you can able to configure it. Right now, I am very much familiar with my Astro IP PBX, so I am going to skip this wizard. So the first thing is that you need to change your admin password. So let's go and have a look what are the tasks I need to do it first. So, so far what I did, I have accessed the S20 IP PBX with the default IP and username and password. The change the default password is my second task. So now to change the password, click on this icon, then click on my settings. Then you will see here the old password. So now I'm going to specify the old password as password. And now I'm going to give you the new password. Then after that specify the email address. So I'm going to give the email address as seshu at datavoice.com. Then after that, click save. Password reset. Please log in with the new password. Then click OK. Now specify the new password. Then click login. 
Now I have successfully completed the second task. In my next video, I am going to show it to you my third task. Thank you for watching. For sales, please send us an email sales at datawise.com.